Customary land in Zambia is one of the two legally recognized land governance systems in the country. Customary land is estimated to account for close to 90% of the land in Zambia and is largely administered by chiefs and village headpersons. Over the past decade, the nation has witnessed phenomenal conversions from customary land to statutory land, a situation which has seen some people residing in customary areas being displaced or having their ancestral lands being significantly reduced in size. The STDM is a social tenure domain model. A social tenure domain model is a participatory tool which maps out the relationship between people and their land. So tenure domain model in it too, ya may seven zesa ku pimba malandi kushita numeration kutina wina ngwa zero kutu ya pele la umu aziwe aziwe ma landi ya kutine pangani ya kutiza kuyamba na kuja kusida. 30th November 2016 marked a dawn of a new era in Chief Chamuka's chiefdom, which saw the chief inaugurating the issuance of 40 customary land certificates to villagers of Vulemo. The issuance of these customary certificates through the STDM tool in Chamuka chiefdom provides an evidence-based platform which can be infused in shaping up the ongoing land policy and the customary land bill. At national level, the government is implementing the National Titling Program and STDM can be used as a pro-poor and participatory tool to aid government in achieving this program and massively reduce on costs. If we could a total and a banduna, we swap over to Sunga Manduna Z, a total and a cham Kawefu, Navasham Fumova, now born, say, I move in Tungus, I move a minute, move a lake, a pitam of Kisamukula. We are going to have the best way of managing customary, customary land tenure system in the country because we are going to see a situation where each individual is going to have his or her own piece of land registered, but after registering, each individual is going to have a customary land a certificate, which is going to secure his or her piece of land, but still retaining the authority of the traditional leadership over this same customary uh, land tenure system with a clear procedure of how this land is going to be acquired and a clear procedure of how this land is going to be managed and a clear procedure of how the land rights are going to be transferred from one person to the other without necessarily taking away the authority of the traditional uh, leadership on this customary land, which I like and which my people like and which we want uh, to prevail across the country, a situation where uh, two land tenure systems are managed independently, though in collaboration with uh, the government, because we know that uh, we do not live in, uh, in a vacuum. We live in space which is, has governance system, and so the two governance system, the traditional authority as well as the state, should work hand in hand but respecting each uh, authority. A woman remains at home with the children and looks for food. If we empower a woman with land, then the woman is going to bring the best out of this land because the woman knows what is good for the family, knows the best nutrition to give uh, to the family, and this nutrition comes from the land. So I feel a woman is the best partner in development and if this woman is supposed to to continue with that best and come out on top of the things then a woman should be empowered with land and this land for the woman as well as that of a man should be secured and this should only be done through customary land certification which we are enjoying with people's process and stdm